Hello, 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 everybody. It's your boy, J Malls of J Malls Gaming, here today with my reaction to the live letter for Patch 6.2 of Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. Hello, hello, hello. So, from the outline they did before 6.1, 6.2 is looking pretty beefy. Not gonna lie, there's some steak on those bones, yeah? It's gonna. We got some content coming down. Let's see what it's all about, yeah? And by the way, for the translations that I'll be using off camera, I am using the Final Fantasy XIV, I believe, Reddit Discord with Eluna Minori and Miena. I probably butchered those names, but. I'll try and leave a link to this in the description down below, okay? Go give them a view. They get to, they do some excellent work for these live translations. Okay, cool. We're getting data sent to travel on July 5th. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Buried memory. Actual ground shattering news. We're getting more main scenario quests. Let's go. They are using the Island Sanctuary picture, though. I want to see what that content actually is. They've told us to manage the expectations, and I've been managing them, but I'm ready to let that hype damn burst, you know? Also, Sid and the MSQ, thank God. Give me more. Just give me more of this jabroni and Xenos. Yeah? I made a prediction, and I'm certain it's coming true. We got a grand total of two screenshots for the MSQ. <laughs> Oh, it's packed with stuff, you know. You know when they're scared to show spoilers. The uh, new title request with more sickard. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. Oh, that's an interesting one to have as a requirement. What you got in store for us? Hmm? Also, this is just Yoshi P telling all the new players to do all the side content. That's what it is. That's what this is. Let me tell you that right now. And I'm here for it. Oh, I'm an idiot. That wasn't sickard. No, that was the guy for the Shadow of Mark quest. Okay, yeah, that makes way more sense. I don't know how I didn't, th how, I don't know how I didn't nail that. Like, immediately. I still don't know how I mi mix those two up. They look nothing alike. Oh my god, it's way too early in the morning for this. I should really catch up on Hildebrand, shouldn't I? Ooh, weapon enhancement quest. Are we getting relics, Yoshi P? 6.25, hmm... No shot, Hildebrand's the freaking relic quest. There's no shot. No shot. You're joshing me, Yoshi P. You're joshing me. There's no shot. I'm back in heaven sworn with Hildebrand. You know how much ketchup I have to do? There's no way. There's no way. The legendary Mandeville weapons? What are they? Like a spoon and a dinner fork? Assert dominance. So all I'm gonna say. Give me a hell yeah! We're getting an Omicron tribal quest? Yes. They're gathering as well. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The, the warmongering planet people. Are the go gather some flowers and pick some rocks up for us. Yes, we're doing the cafe. I knew this would come into play at some point. Yes. Also, I'm really glad we have the giant eyeball there. Just adds to the overall aesthetic. You know, drinking a cappuccino of a giant eye, freaking Big Brother's watching. Alright, so I swapped over to the Twitch stream because it's a little bit ahead. Getting a new dungeon, okay. Okay. Alright, well, that's a cool name. The Fell Court of Troya. Not sure what the hell Troya is. Probably should know that. Oh, it's FF4. Okay. Okay. Alright, not gonna lie to you, this looks like the opening scene from Dark Souls 1. I know everybody's tired of everything and compared to Dark Souls, but this is legit the well that Jabroni, like, throws down a sword for you. Okay, wait a minute. Slow your roll. That's pretty freaking cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh, it's like a void-ish version of Everlasting Night Light. From Shadowbringers. I like that. Okay. Alright, new trial. What is it? Show me the money. The mustard. The gouda. The howda. What do you mean, question mark? What are we doing? Fighting unknown for Pokemon? It's a secret? What? Come on. You know you want to tell me. Come on, little tease. Tease me. 
Tease it a little bit. Do it. Yeah, so my guess is that the dungeon is just us getting to one of the four lords from FF4, and then the trial itself is one of the four lords. Ooh! Pandemonium. One of my favorite words to say, bar none, is pandemonium. Pandemonium. Abyssos. Ooh, okay. I want to see what the gear looks like. Let's, let's be honest. That's the most important bit. What does the gear look like? I need that drip. I need that swag. I need that bling. What's Abyssos gear looking like? Oh, are they staggering the normal and savage mode release dates? That'd be cool. I have a friend who loves to do savage, but he always has to do it day one. So he has to just skip the story so he gets spoiled in the bosses. It'd be really cool if they just like stagger it a week. Savage Raid will be released one week after 6.2. Like to see it. My opinion, I don't raid Savage, so I want to hear your thoughts on it. Comment down below what you think of the Savage being delayed a week. In my opinion, I think it's a good thing so people can experience the story as it's meant to and then prepare for Savage the week after. My favorite boss theme. Well, one of them. Love Sephiroth. A date with chaos and you dress to the nines. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be listening to that song all day again. Why is Dragoon getting changed? Like even if it's been postponed, like why is it getting changed? It's literally like one of my favorite jobs in this game. Like top two for me. Why? What change does it need? Like is it just like numbers adjustment? In that case, sure. Are you like what are you doing? Removing spine shadow dive? Okay. Okay, here we go. Actual new content. Variant Dungeons in 6.25, huh? All right, everybody. Prayer circle. Please, no M+. Variable difficulty dungeons previously introduced as Criterion Dungeons. Okay. Level 90 casual play for 1 to 4 players. No role restrictions, and you can change your job. Okay, that's an interesting idea. Let me change my job in the dungeon. Enemy strength determined by party size. So it scales. Okay. Root of progression branches based on player action. So if we go down certain paths or defeat certain bosses, what does that entail? Because that could be many things. You know, I was, I was wondering if they're ever going to revisit Silden. I was wondering if they're ever going to revisit that piece of lore. Those who don't know, it's basically, I think it's the, either the sister city of Ulda that, like, got destroyed a long time ago, or it's the one they both came from. It's one of those two, so should be in Thanalan, that'll be interesting. Explore the depths alongside a certain person. Hmm. Don't tell me it's just Pippin or something. Okay, I do like the way this seems like it's panning out. Experience a different story depending on your chosen path. Does that mean dialogue options, or does that mean, like, choices in the gameplay? Like, I'm gonna go fight this boss, or there's two bosses up, I need to go stop one. I can only stop one, and depending upon which one I choose, changes the outcome of the story. Interesting. Which way are they going there? Well, it looks pretty, at least. There's still so many question marks about variable dungeons. I need to see an actual gameplay. Is it just going to be a cakewalk in terms of difficulty? Or, or is it going to actually have to challenge? They use the word casual, but I don't know the connotation or the context which they use that word. So it, it depends, right? Like, clearly it's not meant to be a supplement for Savage or Ultimate or Extremes. But is that all they mean by casual? Or do they mean... This is gonna be very. This can be very easily achieved and completed for everybody. I would like to have some difficulty for it. Okay, never mind. There's also a level 90 high difficulty challenge for four player parties. Interesting. Very interesting. So this one doesn't have the scalable party difficulty because it's set to four players. That means it's easier for them to balance it correctly. Players, party must comp compromise one tank, one healer, two DPS. So essentially, variables for story mode, criterions for the actual gameplay. Alright, a lot of my worries were just alleviated there. Visually similar to variant dungeons, but overall structure and enemy strength are entirely different. Root is predetermined and no NPCs accompany you. Okay, so, va variable is for the story, <laughs> variant is, this is actual difficult content, go have fun with it. Cool. 
Very cool. Like it. Like it a lot. So there's two difficulties for the high end. Another Sildin Subterrain, and another Sildin Subterrain Savage. A high difficulty by default, with Savage providing additional challenges. I love to see them adding more content just for the overall gameplay loop. Love it. Ooh, and the non-Savage has a queue for it. Cool, love to see it. Normal methods of resurrection are prohibited, but each player is granted a limited number of revival actions. Okay, so it's kind of like... Bajja in that way. Well, not in terms of wrestling, but, like, in terms of DS. You know, the Lubr- DR, the Lubrum Regé. Cool, cool, cool. No wrestling in Savage? That's mean. That's mean, Yoshi P. That's mean. That's extra mean. All defeated enemies revive? Okay, they said you want difficulty. Okay. 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 All right, who let Yoko Taro design freaking dungeons in Final Fantasy XIV? Fess up. All right, the important content. Let's see what we got here. We're on full copium, everybody. Full copium. Enjoy new casual solo gameplay. Gather materials, care for creatures, build facilities, craft items, and more. Build facilities, you say? Really, did you have to pixelate most of the island? I mean, it's a pretty big island. Kind of looks like a RuneScape map in a way. Same amount of pixels. Ooh, we get the island for free. Okay. Good news, I have my craft- I have my gatherers all leveled up. Got that squared away. The separate inventory for it, and you don't get cluttered with your normal inventory. Sweet. Oh, we can get the grow some crops. Wonderful. Oh. Plant and cultivate seeds you find on your own island. Different from estate crops. I really hope we get some plot for that. Collecting care for various creatures, please let them just be my minions, just like rolling around. Oh my god, it's Pokemon. Keep an eye out for rare coloring and unique critters. We really gonna need to look out for shinies, aren't we? Oh man, I found a shiny, I don't know, shark penguin thing. I still like the otter with the straw hat, I love that thing. Alright, the important thing, build a base of operations. We're gonna build a Teen Titans tower, let's go. Customize its appearance and unlock further tools for development. I like, I like, I like. Okay, okay. You're teasing me, Yoshi P. You're teasing me. Your favorite minions may wander freely within your own base. I'm gonna turn my island sanctuary into a near rep into a near factory. I'm gonna get all the construction materials. I have my all my favorite minions gonna be the near ones because I have all of them. Let's go! Oh my god, we have- We have a market here. Assemble collected materials into handicrafts and export them. Try to align exports with market demand for the best possible results. What is this, an economics class? Island-specific currency, not guild. Gameplay is not affected by other players' actions. Okay, cool, nice. I do like that you can invite people to your island or go to theirs. I do like that bit. Oh, this is a nice UI change. I'd like to see this. Being able to see the actual branching combo in the action list. That's a really nice change. I think this will really benefit new players, because let's be honest, there's gonna be a lot there's a lot of people that don't read the tool toolbars. Let's be honest, they don't read the text. They see a paragraph and their mind just goes away. Doesn't come back. I like to have that visual thing, visual change there. This is easily the best change of 6.2. Screw Criterion Dungeons, screw Island Sanctuaries, screw the new Ray, even screw the MSQ. Glamour Dresser going to 800 is the biggest change here. By far, it's not even close. Thank God. I can finally put all my Nia gear in there. Yes. He knows we're going to complain in three months and it's not enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't worry, I'll be right there. Hey, Square Enix, it's me again. I'm going to need that Footfalls and Closing the Distance, as well as the Flow Primals version. I'm just going to need that mailed to my place. Uh, get it to me whenever you feel like it, but I'm just going to need that for personal reasons. Thank you. Also, that seems to be the end of the actual main announcements for the live letter. Overall, 6.2 is looking really good. A ton of content. More than Dragon Flight at release, let's be honest. But it's looking really good. Criterion Dungeons looked way better than I was initially giving them credit for. 
I'm a bit concerned about the length and if that one dungeon can really carry us to the next Criterion dungeon when that comes out. I'm I'm concerned about what the reward structure is going to be, but I'm going to go in with an open mind, open heart, and just see what it is, what it's all about. Because oh, overall, everything they announced looks good. I'm really excited for it. They were very vague about the MSQ, and it, I'm still not unconvinced that they're going to make the trial series part of the MSQ from here for this patch series. I'm wondering if that's the case, so I'll be interested to see where they go from here. So, overall, two thumbs up for me. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video in the sh well in the video and the reaction. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps more future content, and I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great day. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on 6.2. For Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye, everybody.